Hey everyone, it's me. Well, I'm tuning you back in for today. Um, I've done my laundry and I wanted to go and downstairs and do a workout. But before I go, I want to show you guys a couple of things here, all right? Um, first of all, if you like this video or any other video, video, ugh, video that you see on my channel, click the like, but like button, subscribe, and click the notification button, and you will be notified of any videos that I drop. Um, I'm gonna drop like, uh, I think one video a month. I think I can commit to, and it's gonna be like reviews and vlogs on um, how it is living in New York City, restaurant reviews, location reviews, and stuff like that. Um, that's really, you know, what I want to do for this channel. And document my life, like I said, vlogs on life as a single person in New York City. Um, feel free to also share this video on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or where Snapchat also is another one, or wherever you do your social media. Um, so yeah, like I said, I did my laundry and I'm getting ready to go downstairs and do a little workout before I go to bed. Um, first of all, I want to tell you guys that Chelsea won the UEFA Cup 2021. Oh yeah. So I'm very happy. As a matter of fact, um, the man who made the scoring the winning score for Chelsea, because the score was 1-0, so the man who scored that one point, which got Chelsea to win, was an American football player, and he was the first American football player to score in the UEFA um, championships. So, yay! <laughs> really putting USA football on the map, showing what it's all about. Yeah, unfortunately, the USA team can't play like a team when it comes to the World Cup. But, you know, hopefully that's going to change and uh, show the rest of the European football world what it's all about. That U.S. guys can play, all right? Um, contrary to popular belief. Anyway, before I go downstairs, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I bought. Um... I'm into weird, different types of foods. Not really weird, I could, I guess you could say, because it may not be weird to someone else, but just different stuff that we can't really find in the store here in the United States that you can find in other countries. So I bought a couple of things um, that I want to show you guys, some that I've tried and some that I have not tried. The first thing that I want to show you, which I'm actually not too happy about, excuse me, is... Um, Larva snacks, all right? I bought worms. I wanted to see what it tastes like to eat worms. I was actually looking for bugs, but I couldn't really find anything, so I decided to get worms. I found them on Amazon, and I got these um, larvettes here, and this one, it came in a three-pack, and this one is barbecue flavor, and this one is cheddar cheese flavor. And this one is Mexican Spice. As you can see, I already opened this. And I'm not really happy with them. I don't really, I don't really like them so much. I mean, they're tasty, but it's definitely not what I expected. Um, I looked, the, the product in presentation in Amazon was actually a little bit misleading. It actually made... Um, the package looked like it was bigger and the worms were bigger. So that's why I thought that I was going to get a snack that's a little bit more meaty than this. But it's really not. It's not that meaty and it's also not, also not that flavorful. As a matter of fact, it kind of tastes like I'm, I'm eating a very light uh, cardboard because there's really nothing in it. Like, there's nothing inside really. I feel like I'm just eating the shell. So this is what one of them looks like all right they're so thin that you can see through it see how it is on my hand let me see if i could get it to show you this is how it is all right you can't really but if i put it up to the light you can pretty much see right through it see it doesn't really make that much of a difference and when i it's crunchy right
See, like, it's so light that you can actually hardly hear it. And this is what it looks like inside. This is the inside of it. There's nothing inside, really. It's just dried larvas. Dried worms, right? I really thought it was going to be something different. I mean, they're tasty. You know, this is how they are in a bowl here. They're tasty. But it's not something... It's not a snack that's really going to fill you up. And uh, I thought it was going to be a cool little snack to eat, like, you know, on the subway on my way home. But even these three, this one, this bag, this bag, and this bag, all together is not going to be enough to fill you up. It's only two ounces. And it cost me around, um, the whole the whole three-pack cost me around $6.30-something. So when you divide it up by three... It gives you, um, what, $2.13 or something like that is what it calculated to. I wouldn't pay $2 for this. Not a two-ounce package. Definitely not this, right? Definitely not dozens of these things here. Not for $2. I would pay maybe $1, but not for $2. So, you know, like I said, they're tasty. They're interesting. But it's not worth it. I'm not going to buy them again. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys is a bottle of Swallow's Nest beverage. This is really cool. I had this before. Um, I like it. Swallow's Nest is a beverage from um, Vietnam, I think is where they mainly get this from. And... It's been said that Swallow's Nest has a lot of uh, health properties to it. If you drink Swallow's Nest, it will make you healthier. Um, I don't know if this is so. This could be a myth. I haven't researched it yet, and I don't think it's been proven. But it's not a bad drink. It's pretty tasty. Um, it could be like a psychological thing where it makes people feel better. Uh, you know, that... And that's the health part of it, too. Um, I actually felt more energetic after I drank this, but it could be because this is an 8-ounce bottle and there is 15 grams of sugar in this little 8-ounce bottle. Um, I felt better after I drank it, but it, I said it could be the sugar working. I don't know. Uh, it's cane sugar, and cane sugar doesn't hit you like that, and it doesn't you know, bring you up so high on the sugar high and then drop you down. It's pretty gradual, but it's it's pretty tasty. Um, let me get a glass and show you how it looks. I need a clear glass here. Let me find a clear glass. Oh, all right. You know what? I'll just drink it in this one. Here's a nice clear glass. I'll show you what this looks like. And you know what? The health properties. This is this also. Let me show you the bottle and uh, see if I could get a close-up on the health information you really can't see it that good because it's so so tiny it's 60 calories um, it says it's got about 10 percent of calcium uh, 5 percent sodium and a little bit of vitamins really not many vitamins but it does taste delicious I'm going to pour it in the cup and drink it later. Well, actually, I'm going to take a sip of it. I just want to show you what it looks like. See how it kind of comes out almost like a, like a jelly? What it is, basically, it's kind of gloppy, but not really. What it is, basically, um, it swallows nest, as I said. And it's not the nest per se. You can't make the nest into a juice drink. Um, what it is is this, the swallow has saliva, all right? The swallow um, emits lots of saliva that gets on the nest and makes the nest kind of white in color. And so what they do is they take the nests away, I guess after the swallow has given birth, and they extract the saliva that is on the nest, they extract it from the nest, they go through some kind of um, extraction process, and this is actually the saliva of a swallow, right? Mmm. So it tastes good. 
it tastes good. What I'm tasting when I drink this drink is um, cane sugar mixed with uh, water and it kind of tastes like some kind of jelly. Um, and I like it a lot, right? So there it is, Swallow's Nest Beverage. And that's how it looks like again. If you want, you can probably make this into a, a dessert. Um, maybe mix some little jellies in here, some tapioca. Or maybe you can um, mix some fruit in here and make this a little sweet dessert. Uh, maybe, I don't know what else. Maybe you could put noodles. I've heard, I've heard it's good if you put noodles or uh, rice in here, whatever. Um, I don't know what else you can put. Maybe oats in here, make a little breakfast, but it's nice. I'll have to look up some recipes. Um, the next thing that I got is Swallow's Nest Soup, all right? Now, I haven't tried this yet. I got it off of Amazon. I got the other Swallow's Nest drink off of Amazon as well. Uh, it looks good. I actually read the ingredients. Let me show you the package. Golden Nest Swallow's Nest Soup. Um, let me move this a little bit and see if I could get a better view here. That's what it looks like. All right. Yeah, and so that's what this is like. This is, uh, I guess this is little 8-ounce cups, maybe less than that. Looks like this is what it looks like here. And there's ginseng in this. So I haven't tasted this yet. I'm going to try. It's actually six 2.5 fluid ounce servings. Let me get a little... I'm not going to drink the whole thing because I'm already drinking my Swallow's Nest beverage. And so I don't want to OD on um, energy type of drinks. But let me just take a spoonful of it and see what it tastes like. I know I got a big glop of ginseng to go with it. Mm. This tastes different. Let me try it again. Mm. I could definitely j taste the ginseng in that one. Yeah, for sure. It's good, I like it, but it's very strong. I can certainly taste the ginseng in this one. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Um, oh, that's the wrong top. Uh, all right. So let me show you what this looks like. I'll probably have to put that in the refrigerator now that I opened it up. That's what it looks like inside. And that's the ginseng. Um, the consistency is about the same. So let me tell you a little bit about this product here. Also, that I got it on Amazon. Um, these things are imported, by the way, so they're very expensive. All right. So hand washed uh, swallows nest. Let's bring this camera out and the light a little bit better. They say this here. This is the these are the nests, right? They say hand washing is a process that does not uh, involve bleach. So this is what they do. I'm gonna read this to you. From the moment you twist and pop the cap open and savor this golden nest swallow nest soup, you will notice a distinct taste. 
aroma and texture that can usually be enjoyed only through a home cooking swallow nest soup. This unique characteristic is the fruit of Golden Nest's commitment to have all swallow nests be 100% hand washed and 100% bleaching free. The 100% hand wash method is still the time tested premier method to minimize the impurities content in the nest. This method, however, is losing its popularity during, during, due to the significant product loss during the cleaning process. Also, some minor impurities might still remain visible due, the, uh, due to the absence of bleaching agents to cover them. Covers, in quote. But Golden Nest believes that the best swallow nest needs to be always 100% natural. And to achieve 100% natural final soup product, 100% um, hand washed raw swallow is the uncompromised ultimate standard. Finally, the absence of bleaching agents along with advanced cooking technology, comparably used in preservative free commercial baby food technology, makes this product safe for elderly people, nursing, pregnant women, and even babies that are ready for solid food. Enjoy! I don't know if I would give this to my baby because um, it does have a lot of ginseng in it and it's going to make you, going to give you a lot of energy. Um, this is uh, some information here about the ginseng. They use American ginseng, which is actually brewed in Wisconsin. All right, it's not Panax ginseng, it's not red ginseng, it's American ginseng. It tastes good. Um, it's a unique blend of soup. Our recipe uses 100% genuine Wisconsin tested and certified cultivated American ginseng together with the highest quality swallow nest to make it one of the most naturally nutritious and potent soup one can find in the market. This version of swallow nest soup with cultivated American ginseng continues to be very popular among the young and old. Uh, it says that they have a research and development team that puts the utmost efforts to lock in the ginseng original taste. And this unique technique, however, makes our swallow nest soup, soup look slightly more cloudy than the original version. That's why, but I couldn't notice the difference really. Um, and it does have a very distinct smell. And I could smell the ginseng, like I said, as soon as I opened the bottle. Mm. And it still smells very nice. Ginseng has like um, almost a fragrant, floral, and ginger-like taste to it, and smell to it, rather. Um, and I definitely smelled that as soon as I opened up the jar here. And it doesn't seem to be as thick as the swallows, uh, the swallow nest juice, but uh, it's still very good. I don't know why they call it soup though. I'm going to have to figure that out. If any of you guys know why they call it soup, put something um, in the comments and let me know why. If you ever tried anything like this before, put it in the comments if you have. And, um, you know, if you would like to try them and you like them or you don't like them, let me know also. I like these, these um, products that I got with the exception of my Larvettes. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I especially like the Swallow's Nest drink. We'll definitely buy that again. And tomorrow, I think I'm going to eat this whole thing now that I opened it. Anywho, um, that's about it for now. So I'm going to finish my drink. And then I'm going to go downstairs for a little workout. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.